When you're writing a sub-procedure to perform a particular task, more often than not, you're going to want to give it some data when you call it. We can do this using parameters. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to write a procedure which takes somebody's exam grade, converts it into a percentage, and then reports whether it's a pass or a fail. So I'm asking the user to type in the score and how many marks it was out of, the number of available marks. In order to do arithmetic with these inputs, I need to convert them into numbers. Rather than converting them into integers, I'm going to convert them into real numbers, in other words, numbers with decimal places. So instead of typing int here, I'm going to type float instead. Float is short for floating point number, which is how computers represent numbers with decimal places, so-called real numbers. Now, let's turn this into a percentage. That's the score, divided by the number of available marks, multiplied by 100. And now I'm going to add some logic to test whether this percentage is a pass or a fail. So, 50% or more is a passing grade, anything less than 50% is a fail. Let's quickly test this before we turn it into a procedure with parameters. Notice, by the way, I've already saved it with the name exams.py. What did you score in the exam? Let's say 45. How many marks was it out of? Let's say 100. That means the percentage will be 45%. Nice and simple. That's a fail. Let's try that again. What did you score in the exam? Let's suppose we scored 35, and we scored 35 out of 60. And that's a pass. It seems to be working fine. To be sure, I could also report the percentage. So let's suppose I scored 70 out of 90, and that's a percentage of 77.77%. That's a passing grade. And let's score 20 out of 50. That's going to be 40%, which of course is a fail. That seems to be working fine. Now, I'm going to turn my routine for calculating the grade into a procedure. I'll take these two lines where I'm capturing the input and move them to the bottom. They won't be part of the procedure. So I've given my procedure the name check grade, and now I want to set it up to accept the score and the number of available marks when it's called. I can do so like this. These are called parameters. Essentially what I'm doing is declaring a pair of variables that will be used by this procedure. Now let's call it. I'm going to comment out these two lines of code first of all, just to keep things really simple. Those are comment markers. If you put this in front of a line of code, it stops it from working. Now you'll remember from the previous video, to call a procedure, you type its name. Like that. But this procedure needs to be fed two pieces of data when you call it. I can do so like this. These are called arguments the data which I'm passing to a procedure which has been defined with parameters. Run the program, and 30 out of 60 is 50%, which is, of course, a passing score. Now, rather than hard coding the data like this, I'm going to capture it from the user. So let's bring these two lines of code back to life. And just to illustrate a point, I'm going to change the names of these two variables. Let's call them x and y. So I'm asking the user, what did you score in the exam? And whatever the user types in gets put into the variable x. And I'm asking the user how many marks was it out of, which I assign to the variable y. And then when I call check grade, I pass it x and I pass it y. Let's try it. 56% is a passing grade. 
I'm just illustrating that the names of these variables don't have to match the names of the parameters, although they can, and it kind of makes more sense if they do. So I'm going to change these again. And that's working fine. Now you'll remember from the previous video that I can take this procedure and I can put it into a separate file. Let's do that. I'm calling the file examutilities.py. And if I want to use the code inside examutilities from this file, I need to import it. And then precede my call to check grade with the name of this file. Let's try that. And it seems to be working fine. Now, I just want to add an important word of warning when you're passing arguments to a procedure with parameters. You have to pass them in the right order. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to swap these around. Check grade is expecting a score followed by the number of available marks. I'm trying to pass in the available marks first, then the score. Watch what happens. Let's suppose I scored 60%. 60, 60 out of 100 is most certainly not 166%. My program has divided 100 by 60. For certain calculations, you need to be mindful of the order in which the parameters have been defined. And then you need to pass your arguments in the same order. Why not give this a try yourself? In fact, you could extend your check grade program by having some grade boundaries. Depending on the percentage, you could report a grade A, B, C, D, E or F. You'll need to add some more ELIF clauses to your IF block. 